Hey everybody, welcome back. Room with Texas All Water Fishing. And, uh, you know, in the morning, I'm out here getting some of my stuff together. You know, in the morning, I am going out with Captain Charles. Charles is a guide here in the Galveston area. So if you're interested in looking for a guide, you want to book a trip, you know, Charles is money. He has a lot of great spots, especially during this time of the year. You know, I know that it can get a little hard during the colder time of the year trying to trying to get on the fish but charles is all about it so every once in a while i'll jump on the boat with him he's gonna be out and scouting the area and looking he has a couple trips coming up so he's gonna be scouting the area so really just a scout trip so the crazy thing is is my friend bethel and tim have invited me out on their boat and uh charles invited me on his boat already and then Oscar, who is a patron, he's going to be fishing the area out of his kayak. And he's been doing having some success over fishing in the same spot in the same area that we're looking at going. So it should be fun, you know. Charles is a wealth of knowledge, guided trip. So I think us and Beto and Beto's boat probably follow us a little bit. Charles will give us some tips, some points, new spots, pointers, some new spots. Probably run over and say what's up to uh, Oscar Postar. And he's, he's going to be fishing over there, like I just said. So it's going to be a fun trip. Stop and get some live bait. Throwing the, like I said, the coastal cork. Wish us luck. It's going to be a little bit of a slack tide. So it's going to be a bit of a grind. So that's where the live bait come in. But if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, go ahead and do so. Hopefully you'll see my Patreon viewer, subscriber, whatever you want to call them. Oscar out there again. Don't forget, you want to join Patreon, join today. There's a link in the description section for that. Also, a quick plug. You know, these are like super lightweight sunglasses. Great polarized lenses. I know you see me fishing them all the time. Waterman's got a nice discount code for you guys. Yeah, check them out as well. Let's get fishing. I'm going to get going. I'm going to get all my gear together. And then we're going to get out there in the water. But thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Dang it! I know I'm too busy looking for a wave. Dang it! He ate it up. He said you gotta pay attention. <laughs> I was looking for my cork. I was like, where did I? I thought I caught a spread of that time. Did I cast over here? Like, where did my cork get? Like, what the? Here, I'll pay attention. I'll keep you on your cork. <laughs> you got a friend. <laughs> Try to call it fishing, not catching. Well, uh, thanks a lot for that tidbit of information. You are, you changed my life. There we go. <clears throat> you moved out of that spot to be nice, right? <clears throat> it's a sheepy. He feels sheepish. He feels sheepish. Oh, little drum. Yeah, not, not Ned, not, yeah. That was just a net test to see if you're gonna get the net. Yeah. Almost 14. Didn't quite make it. Thanks for playing. Do a little live shrimp. About three foot leader line. 30 pound Yozuri. Coastal cork. There he goes down. Got one that time. Little guy. Another little drum. Feel like a little black drum. Feels smaller than the other one. Nope. Little red. Hey. Red's here to potty. Thought he was hung up and ended up being a fish. You need the net. Might be a netter. A little netter. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that today. That's a keeper too. Yes! <laughs> On the cork. All the way back here. On the corker. Okay, I'm gonna need a picture of this for me. On I'll the grab corker. The phone in a second after you're done. What's what is that? What jig is that? Texas Rattler. Texas Rattler. Nice. On my fish finder setup. Good job.
All right. It's a race. Who can catch one first? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, smoking it, baby. I'm smoking it now, baby. I'm smoking it now. 16 inch red. If that. <laughs> yeah, it's a little small. Oh, it's just. Oh, I got the good one. You got the good one. Dang it! I caught the first one. That one matters. I'm trying to help you. Ow! Okay, you got it. I almost hooked myself. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that's a fat one. Ooh, that one's peeling. That's a good one. That's a good one. Sheepy? Nice. Oh, that's a nice one. Come right next to you. Oh, which one you want me? I want this right. All right. Dang, that's a nice one. <laughs> Dang, that's a big one, dog. That's like a big old jetty sheep head, dude. Look at that one. That's nice. Let's see that jig head. <laughs> Cousin. Cousin Earl. Oh, it's, down like it's down now. Still on there. Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's down, but I doing it. A boat right over there. You gotta fish with it down like this. We ain't catching nothing over here, partner. It's a flatty too. I gotta get a picture of this Little guy. I can't believe we're finding flounder this far in. Little baby. Every time Charles talks about leaving, he has a fish on. That's time every time. I'm, and anybody who's that is a third. Me, that's the third or fourth time. Anybody who fishes with me knows that's my little trick to catch fish. All I have to do is say I'm gonna leave, and well, the fish I start catching. I say it, and I can't catch nothing. Well, that's because. Oh, got, you got a big one? Is that a netter? I think it's another sheep. Is it? Let me get the I net. I Back with the net, a ruski. Oh, that is another sheep big sheep head. Oh my gosh! Dang, that's a big one. I think that was bigger. Catching sheep right here, not even around no rocks. Come on, come on, sheepy. I gotta make that look out. Yeah, this is a good one. We'll bring it to the front. There you go. Twenty inches. Like you on here to take my picture for me. Right. <laughs> Try, trying to can't take your own picture, son. There. Good one. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Yeah. Nice one. Welcome to Baytown, baby. Nice, nice oh, we're running. Yeah. Another sheepy. Dang, Charles. You gonna limit down on, on sheeps? There we go. That's another big one. There's another big one. That's solid, baby boy. That's your friend. What's going on? Huh? Nah. Hit and miss. He's he's smoking them. I'm just a cameraman today. You know. I told him I wasn't planning on keeping, so I'm just catching the little ones. You know. Little res, little drums. I edited it with my head on him. You know. I put that. I'll get that right. Every freaking time. Cats on that sign. You got a fish? 
Where is he at? Woo! It's another flat. That's flatty. That's flounder a big one. Today. Bring him up. That's a keeper. Three flounders today. That's a keeper. Got a keeper. Cheaper creepers. When I shouldn't be catching a flounder. I've flounder. got three flounder today. Oh, the sideways. There you go. Three right, flounder today. Let me get my. Uh, someone had a good meal. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Get him. Get him. Is it one? Speckler. It's a speckler, by the way. It's head bounce. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh! Now that's a good one. That's a good one. Ooh, that's a healthy one. That's a thick one. I'm glad I showed you all the spots today. You know? Yeah. I'm glad I got to catch all these fish for you. Well, that's awesome, bro. I mean, you know, I only want to catch the little ones, so, you know, my wrist kind of hurts, right, so. Man, we'll put one more for Little one catcher. What happened? How y'all get behind us? I'm not even too sure how this even happened. Betho and Tim were drift fishing beside us using a drift sock, and some way or another, they right got there. behind us. And because Betho just caught a redfish, he Where starts accusing us of cutting him off and pot licking him. I'm gonna cast you. You bait me, okay? <laughs> Which was a total accident, but it ended up working out. I will cut. We'll cut it off here in a second. There we go, like that one. Yo! Whoa! Look at this guy! This red fish. Yeah. This one's rat red. <laughs> he found the rats. Oh! <laughs> oh! I'm at the boat flipper. Watch out! Oh. It's coming up! Oh. Oh. I burned up my reel. Mwah! Mwah! <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, 82 <coughs> centimeter. <laughs> Ooh. Right. Well, that is gonna do it today. Oh my gosh, I stunk it up. I can't believe it. You know, I caught uh, all the nursery fish. Man, it was it was it was tough for me. You know, the bite wasn't really there. You know, thank God Charles has such a wealth of knowledge because we hit i want to say five or six different locations and bethel and tim on on their boat they kind of followed us around a bit i mean you know we 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 paired up and and went together we had a hit hit a couple separate spots and and they were able to get on some fish as well you know they they had a good um good results and i had probably a man i probably lost like conservatively i think i probably lost like six fish but conservatively i think i lost like four slot a uh, couple nice sheep head one really nice red and just i broke off actually i broke off twice on reds just wasn't in my cards i was the cameraman and uh i just couldn't stay away from those nursery fish but it's gonna happen you know you fish a live bait you're gonna get whatever's biting and not a lot was biting but luckily like i said Charles knows the area very well, so we were able to really target and pick out some some key points out there where Charles has had success and we were able to get on the fish. But thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't checked out Innovation Safety Solutions, check them out today. Looking for safety solution, check out Betha. Tremendous amount of wealth of knowledge. Also, Tim, TTL Plumbing, TTL Services, Plumber, Fortman County area. Check him out. Check out Charles Claiborne. Like I said, you know, he is a wealth of knowledge. Thank you again, Charles, for having me out on your boat. And I had a really good time. I had a great time running into the guys, running into Oscar out there in his yak, fishing alongside of Tim and Betha and absorbing as much knowledge as i can of the area with charles i'll be back out there soon to pot lick some of your spots charles but thanks again guys if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please go ahead and do so subscribe like comment share and until next time hope you catch me hook it up